Hi, I'm Steve Levine. And I'm Ellen Levine. And we have been associated with EGS as part of the founding team since 1996. Yeah. Long time. (laughs) (laughs) But we're still here. We are still here. And still excited about this project. Absolutely. Um, And I was the founding dean of the doctoral program. And Ellen has been teaching with me in the doctoral program, as well as doing uh, individual courses in the master's program for many, many years. Right. Uh, The course that we do, we do two courses together. Main course that we do together is called the Core Advisory Seminar. And this is a a group. The group goes together through the three weeks of summer school and takes four subject courses and intermittently has core meetings where we reflect on the subject matter of the courses and also do a lot of group building uh, activity, a lot through the arts. Mm. Yeah. And uh, the other course we teach, you, maybe you'd like to speak about it? Yeah, we're teaching the research course together. And uh, that's always an interesting course because we want to find what the students' research interests are and how they can develop them according to their own background and desires. I think it's very important to realize that expressive arts has really flourished in research in recent years. We've had a lot of development of expressive arts-based research, and I hope to carry that further in that course. And I'm very interested in uh, working with students' practice uh, and developing research that comes out of mm-hmm. practice. I'm, I'm a practitioner myself, mm-hmm. and uh, that's a lot of the research that I do and the writing that I do is about my practice mm-hmm. in various ways. So, right, right. Yeah, the philosophy course, I want to give a grounding in expressive arts philosophy, philosophical concepts uh, and methodology, particularly in terms of the notion of uh, poesis as a response to the world. Uh, and how that can influence a whole perspective on our work. But I also want to look at other work, um, other perspectives that have developed in recent years, feminist research, indigenous research, Eastern concepts that come from uh, Dawes and other tendencies in Eastern philosophy. I want to open the field as much as possible. Yeah, and I'll just speak briefly about the two master's courses that I teach. Uh, One is a course on salutogenesis, it's called, uh, that's not the full title, but it focuses on the research orientation, the resource orientation of our work, uh, which is in contrast to a more deficit oriented approach of other psychotherapies. And I do a lot of work in this course through theater, uh, which is, I think, a really interesting way to learn about a subject. Mm-hmm. And the other course I do is, um, Principles and Practice of Psychotherapy and Expressive Arts Therapy, where I look at different uh, psychotherapeutic frameworks that, uh, and then contrast, compare and contrast them with our approach in expressive arts therapy. And also, again, I work through movement and through poetry and through visual art in, in that course. So I try to bring in the arts as if imagining my uh, classroom is the studio and mm. we're exploring these ideas and concepts and practices and theories through the arts. Mm. So I think that's, we bring in the, te- the arts to the teaching all the time. So we're inviting you to join us also at summer school this summer. Uh, this is take- You too can drink from a Swiss cup. <laughs> in your imaginations mm-hmm. <laughs> because we're online and uh, this is take two of EGS summer school online and we're hoping that take two will be even better than take one which was quite good I yeah mean, it we, worked out we were, we were a little really, we were a little nervous yeah about we it were we weren't sure we that we could teach we needed to be present with each other but we really developed some creative and imaginative and interesting ways to work together online. We try to have breakout groups as well as whole groups. And we try to give people time away from the screen. So minimize Zoom fatigue. Very important. And and that's the good thing about art making that we can go off the screen to do it and then bring things back 
to work on and reflect on. Exactly. Yeah. So, so it, I think it's a, always a fun experience and an exciting one, and hopefully a good learning frame for you all. Right. So we look forward to your joining us this summer. Okay. Bye. <laughs>